By now, I'm sure you've seen the Just Up oil protesters covering Van Gogh's sunflowers in cold soup. Uh, but this isn't the first time protesters have attacked paintings. This isn't even the first time protesters have attacked paintings at the National Gallery. In 1914, suffragette Mary Richardson entered the National Gallery with a butcher's knife hidden up her sleeve. Her chosen target was this gorgeous painting by Velázquez called Venus at her toilette, or sometimes the Rokeby Venus. She finds the painting, and then she stays there for an hour watching the security guards and waiting for her perfect opportunity. Now, when I first read about this, I thought it would be like in the movies and she'd do like a big diagonal slash down the painting. No, she hated this thing. Seven big stab wounds in the middle of the canvas. As she's being led out by the police, she says to the waiting crowd that she did it in protest of the government locking up the suffragette leader, Emmeline Pankhurst. She says, you can get another painting, but you cannot get another life as they are killing Mrs. Pankhurst. Later on in her life, she does give some different reasons. She at one point says, I didn't like the way men visitors gaped at it all day long. Now, I do a tour about the suffragette movement, and when I tell this story, people are like, yeah, fight the power. But here's the kicker. 20 years later, Mary Richardson goes on to join the British Union of Fascists. Now, I don't know if that means she was always authoritarian or if she got radicalised later in life. I actually have a whole extra video about the suffragettes and fascism, which I will link to in the description. As for the Venus, you can go and see her in the National Gallery to this day, and she looks pristine. They have done an incredible job restoring her.